Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here in Six Rivers National Forest near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. The mosquitoes have gotten into the house so it's a little, um, I'm gonna have to shut the door and if I shut the door I have to turn on the air conditioner again. <sighs> oh goodness, I'm tired. Um, it's uh, been a busy, busy weekend. Um, so, what do we do today? This is a Build-A-Doodle Trees Continued. So this was just some simple cone shapes. And what I wanted to do was just show you how, how you can take you know, your paint that's laid down and then build over the top of it. This I also did. So um, this is going to be a little bit longer video. Oh, defeats, the, you know, defeats the purpose of spacing them out if I make the videos longer. But um, anyway, <laughs> oh my gosh. So this was a very cool um, image that I found on Pinterest and I just took the inspiration from there and played with it. So still definitely today working with doodles. Okay, and we're gonna try to advance that some more on Wednesday. And then Friday, we are definitely going to do more with our build video, but of course that will be on Patreon. If you are able to support the channel, um, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, you know, YouTube does not pay me to do these videos and um, the only real source of income that I have from my art is through Patreon. So it is super important for your support in order for me to be able to continue to provide you content. It's just, uh, you know, it's just life. Uh, Patreon, I have a $10 and a $25 uh, tier. On the $25 tier, everybody gets the exact same stuff, but with the $25 tier, you do get to have a conversation with me every month. As I will be um, returning to work this month, you guys are gonna have to be patient with me with scheduling. I have to see what my schedule is even gonna look like. So um, I can't commit to anything right at this point in time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do want to give a shout out, uh, to those of you that are absolutely helping to support the channel. Um, it does make a huge difference and, um, uh, it goes directly to feeding Oz and I, so it is very appreciated. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day and, um, we'll chat soon. Bye-bye. What are you guys doing? Ready? Come on. Hello artists. Okay, I want to just kind of really look at these very quickly. Um, just remember that this is kind of a triangle shape. Let's see if I can get this to work today. I'm using my Arteza watercolor set. There are 36 colors here. I will have a link for it down in the description. We're just gonna make a triangle and a stem, all right? Now I've wet, it down, I wet down all of my uh, paints, so they're really friendly to use right now. I'm just kind of getting some different colors. That one's pretty darn dark. And you can use whatever colors you want. It doesn't have to be green. A little bit of water to that so I squeeze my brush and as you know we can turn around it's kind of funny how those are ending up being almost the exact same color as each row now I don't want to do a ton of these um, they're pretty self-explanatory they're very similar to what we did last week um, you know 
So we can come back and play with these. Uh, again, I'm not going to focus too much on it. And I know I'm focusing too much on it right now. I'm just kind of waiting for that one to dry. Uh, Okay, and while that's drying, we're also going to look at this little guy right here. Um, because I think this is really interesting. Now, I guess we could come over with our white uh, pens. I'm not going to use black necessarily. I'll use some blue. They use a very light gray, actually. And again, these are, you know, our Patreon images, so I kind of like to go through them and, you know, all of the images are off Pinterest, so, you know, if you want to just go off Pinterest and find your own, go for it. Um, I spend a lot of hours doing image sourcing. So it takes a lot of that work out for you. I'm just kind of doing something along the lines of what they're doing. I'm not trying to copy it. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. And um, I'm kind of liking the fact that they're just using a couple colors. I'm going to add in a little bit of um, kind of ochre colors in here. Some different shapes, sizes. And then we're gonna also come in, I'm gonna put some splatters in because I think those are fun, which you know, I love splatters. And let's get in some of the uh, brown ones, just because I think it gives a great vintage vibe to it also. So the reason why I'm doing this one right now with our little simple trees is because these are very simple trees. This is a very simple element, so we're gonna we're gonna be brave, and we're gonna go for it, All right? We're gonna expand on what we learned last week. The only thing is, I feel like that background is not. Um, I, I would love to have a little more color in there. Here I was gonna stay with two colors too funny. I don't stay with two colors. <laughs> I had a plan. No, I didn't stick to the plan. This is how I am. I have way more splatters than they do. That's not unusual. Okay. Now that this one's dried, we're gonna go back and play with some of those shapes. Again, these are more of the simple doodles. Some of these are dry. So let's kind of look at this. This has kind of a heavier outline. It kind of gives it a little swoosh up, a little swooshy bottom. It's essentially a triangle, guys. It's a triangle with a little stem. And some wavy shapes. We're not looking to copy off of them directly. We're taking their inspiration. I don't want you to compare yourself to anybody else. I want you to just kind of play with it and go with it, right? Because remember, we're practicing, we're learning, and it's okay. And those of you that are, are rocking these uh, doodles, that is so cool. Just keep doing what you're doing, guys. It's, it's really awesome. All right, so we're gonna make a little pointy little guy up here. 
So we're going to kind of come in here. There we go. Go back with it and play with it or don't, you know? These are not meant to be perfect. These are doodles. They are meant to be fun. They are meant to be practice. They are meant to be play. Just doodling. See, now this should give you the ability to make your own little Christmas cards or whatever. You can always draw something on your own. You don't need to always use a stamp or, you know, have somebody else else's art, you know, on your cards. I know I'm just totally going completely rogue off of that example, but that's okay. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay, you guys have to forgive me too. I'm really tired today, so um, I know I need to get this video out to you tomorrow morning or, uh, you know, <laughs> it's like the world ends. Um, it's, it's not always easy, guys, so you need to be patient with me, especially after I'm as tired as I am from yesterday. All right, we have a main stick in the middle. We have just some little branchy things right there. I think this one is dry enough to where we can go on with it. I'm gonna just kind of try it and see how this gel pen works over it. Not too bad. I haven't had the best of luck using gel pens over the top of um, watercolor, honestly. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not very thick coverage. So trying to do a very light pressure, hoping that will allow more of the paint to come out of the gel pen. And we have another fork up here. Here. This is just lines. You know, there's no science to this at all, guys. You can do it. I think that one has some really cool little fun. Um, you know, we have some fish scaly things, we have some dot things, we have some, you know, fun. These are still a little bit wet here, so I don't want to get into too much of that. They switched to their black pen in here also. I have a feeling that the black pen is going to show up way better. Yes, it did. That's one. This one kind of goes straight down here also. This one's cool. It's kind of more of a build uh, than a doodle one, isn't it? So this is also a great way to create whimsy in your drawings. It's a great way to um, play while you're making something really cool.
And here they have the polka dots and then they have the little fish scales in different colors. You know, do what makes you happy. We'll see how these look. I love how these splatters have dried. I think they're very cool. We're going to do a little line work here. And some more circles here. That one's kind of cool. It's uh, like this. Don't hold your pen so tight that your hand gets sore. It shouldn't. Then they just have some random sticks in there too. I'm gonna make some more of these little guys. They're very cool. I guess we're gonna do that with it. This is kind of a cross between our flowers and our trees, aren't they? Just play with it, guys. Um, these are super simple shapes. Have fun. Who says it has to be perfect? All right, I know that we are at time by a substantial amount. Okay, guys, well, go and, and have a great time. Um, make some fun stuff. Uh, there is no reason for you to sit and overthink any of this. That's very easy things to do, okay? And then um, tomorrow we're gonna look more at the shape of a tree um, and see what we can do for you guys there. All right, have a great day. We'll chat soon, bye.